Halloween. It's been a while. Um, so I just picked up Ryan's GoPro. Here it is. And there's my camera bag. And the other bags are in the back. And we're all ready to go. We're on our way to Auckland International Airport. And I'm so excited. For those of you who don't know who I am, because it's been a while, um, I'm Megan's sister. <laughs> we started this channel back in January. Go back and watch those vlogs if you haven't seen them. Maybe skip the last three. I got really sick. You probably don't want to watch that. But right now I'm on my way back to Orlando. Dad's driving. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. And I'm flying over to Orlando to see Megan again, and I'm so excited. Some people asked uh, for me to record. They asked why I didn't record the flight over in January, and the reason was because we didn't have a camera. We bought it in LA. So now I've got a camera. I decided maybe I'll do a little bit of a travel vlog so you can see what it takes to get from New Zealand all the way over to Disney World in Orlando. It's a long trip. It's going to take about 28 or 29 hours. I won't film the whole thing. <laughs> You'll get a shorter version. But um, yeah, we're on our way. International Airport. I just checked in for my flight. It's leaving in a couple of hours, so I've got some time to kill. I'll be gonna go over there, grab something to eat, maybe have a look around the bookstore. Can you tell that this is New Zealand? New Zealand slash Melbourne. Yeah, so now it's just waiting around for my flight. I'm gonna be doing a lot of waiting around on this trip. Oh my goodness, because you get dinner pretty late on the plane, this is the first of probably many very unhealthy things I'm going to be eating on this trip. Oops. Here we go! I am through security and now I'm headed to my gate and I'm still probably over an hour early but I'm so excited! My friend, thank you for embarking upon your journey with Air New Zealand. May your path always be guided by the light of the stars, and may the future bestow upon you all the happiness and adventure our Middle Earth has to offer. That's a wrap, everyone.
Magellan heads off to the pilots after flying nearly 12 hours in darkness but successfully found America. And welcome to Los Angeles. Good morning, Meg. It's Tuesday. Again? Well, I'm in LA. I'm just going to go through customs now and then find the Starbucks. So it turns out Starbucks in Terminal 2 is being renovated or it's gone at the moment. There's some sort of hole in the wall coffee shop where it used to be. So I'm feeling a little bit lost now. <laughs> Starbucks was always my anchor point for LAX. I always knew where I was if I knew where Starbucks was. But now I don't know what to do. So I'm here at, what's the time? I'm here at 11.34. I've been here for like half an hour maybe. Um, and my flight leaves at like 5 to 10 tonight. So I've got a really long wait ahead of me. Of course I've got to check in before so it'll be shorter but I've got a long, long time to wait. And with no Starbucks, with no free Wi-Fi, I don't drink coffee, I just want the Wi-Fi. I can't even really connect to the LAX Wi-Fi I'm trying to because I want to say hi to Meg and Mama and let them know that I'm here safe. So hopefully I can find, apparently there's a Starbucks in Terminal 4, um, so I have to check if that's a terminal I need to go to and if it is, then that'd be great. Update! So I found American Airlines and it's a lovely terminal but they've only got one very teeny tiny little Starbucks downstairs and uh, it was full, like packed and there were no seats and I really would like to sit down even though I've just been sitting down for 11 and a half hours so um, I've walked all the way to where am I? Uh, I've walked all the way to Terminal 6 and now I'm going to walk all the way back because I haven't been able to find anything to eat. Um, Mum said there's a food court in Terminal 1 uh, and I think I remember going there, so I might try there. My Wi-Fi is really patchy as well, it's cutting in and out. And I'm like talking to American Airlines on Twitter and stuff, they've been really nice. So yeah, I'm just chilling in LAX. I'm really just kind of just mulling around for eight hours <laughs> until I have to check in at American because there's not much to do. They really need like a cinema, somewhere to check your bags go shopping or something here um, hopefully the like the renovations they're doing lots of renovations at the moment so hopefully that will uh, make LAX a nicer place to have to wait around for a day um, so yeah I'm just gonna wander over to Terminal 1 from Terminal 6 this is the most walking I've done in a long time it is so tempting to hop on that bus right now. I wound up in Starbucks after all. I passed by and it was much quieter than it was last time I was here, so I decided, you know what, I can't be bothered going to Terminal 1. I'm going to stick to Starbucks. And I'm glad I did. Look, got a nice fruit cup and one of those refresher thingies as I don't like coffee. So it's all good. I'm about to uh, download some footage, hopefully start editing. I'm back at American Airlines and I'm sitting in the same spot as I was earlier. I think I'd kind of outstayed my welcome at Starbucks. But now I'm back at American Airlines. I wait a few hours still, so I'm editing for you guys. to 10 um, but that's okay uh, I just went through security apparently American Airlines will actually let you go through I could have gone through ages ago these seats are so much comfier than what I was sitting on <laughs> I should have done that um, hopefully I'll get hungry soon I want to have dinner before I get on the plane